Hi, it's me again with Corel Doll Tips and Tricks, and this is part two about trying to export this as and get the true colors. But he's got this black line in there, and I think it's going to cause him problems. So let's just, well, let's leave this copy so we know how many there are. Let's just get out of the way. And this thing is 1.7 by 1.77. So we're going to take this and see if we can't break it apart. It is a fountain fill. So see if we can go to group and ungroup it. And yes, we can. And so we're going to try to get rid of that black line. So one thing we're going to do first, we're going to select them both and we're going to right click on no fill. Now we got a little bit of a white line. Let's change our nudge factor 0 0.001. And let's take one of them and move it over just a hair. And now you can see that black line and at least the white line are at least a lot less present. So... <clears throat> what I'm going to do to make them both even, I'm going to go in with my ratio lot. I'm going to go ahead and make this 1.77 equally. So now it's a perfect square. I'm going to go ahead and group it together. And I'm going to set my nudge factor on 1.77. And then I'm going to grab it and I'm going to hit the plus key and I'll move it over. And there still might be a little bit of a white line there. So what we can do, let's try this. Let's change our nudge factor to 1.75. And let's hit plus key on the keyboard. And now that line's gone. Now in the drawing, he had it rotated uh, a different uh, angle. So we're going to do that. Now to continue that process, and let's see, see how many he had. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we need some more. So let's. Control D, and then we can just hit the, okay, he's got his nudge factor set on point. You need to set that on zero, zero on your duplicate distance. That way it'll duplicate perfectly. And let's grab that and uh, let's go Control D and then move it over twice. Control D again. And now we got uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, so we need just one of these nudged over again. So let's move it over and then rotate it back to zero. And then all we have to do is control D and control D, control D and do it nine times till it's a, till it's a box. And you know, without counting, you can see it's not a box, but if you, if you select it all, you can see it's 15 sub seven by 15 sub seven. So, you know, it's a square. Now he actually had them reverse more um, now that I notice on the drawing. Like this one is to the left, that one's up, that one's to the left. No, it's left, right, left, right. But these are different. So what you can do, in, uh, let's just erase all these, make it perfect. And let's control D and make a duplicate and then move it down and then mirror it sideways. And then you could grab both these, control D and move it twice and then just keep doing that until you get that perfect square. So we need to do just one layer to make it a square. And now, now it looks more like the original and it's pretty, um, I think it looks a lot better without those lines in there. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.